Hi, I'm Ben from the Cell Phone Broker in San Jose, California. Today I'm going to show you how a cell phone works. There are three different types of cell phone networks. The first one is going to be uh, GSM, and uh, what that is is uh, there's two types of networks in the United States that, uh, that use that network, and that would be uh, AT&T and T-Mobile. Those are the networks that take uh, those small SIM cards that go into the back of phones. The majority of the phones that they use are uh, Samsung, Nokia, and Motorola. Um, outside of that, there's another network, it's called CDMA. CDMA would be uh, service providers like Sprint, Verizon, and MetroPCS. There's no SIM card installed on the phone, and the network is a little bit older. Um, you can usually, there's usually not a way of, of telling what kind of phone works for that kind of network without looking at the actual phone and seeing what uh, what brand is on there. If you see Verizon, then you know that that phone is from a CDMA network. If you see AT&T, you know that phone is from a GSM network. And uh, outside of that, all of the operations of the phone are basically going to be the same. It's just the internal mechanisms inside of the phone, the motherboard, the circuit boards inside of the phone that, uh, that decide whether or not it's a CDMA or GSM phone. Um, so when you have your cell phone in your hand, basically you make a call from your phone, that transmission gets sent to a tower owned by the carrier that you're calling from on your cell phone. So this particular phone is from Boost Mobile. So if I make a call from this phone, it's going to go to the Boost Mobile tower that will then uh, get transferred into the landline system, which is uh, usually AT&T or MCI or something like that. It gets transferred into there. And then if you're calling a landline, it's going to come out right on the other side on, uh, on this landline phone here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and give you a quick demonstration on how that would work. So once you have the number dialed in on your phone, you just hit the send key. It'll say it's calling that number. The other step would be calling a cell phone. If you're not calling a landline, you're going to call another cell phone, whether it's on the same wireless provider or another wireless provider. The, uh, the steps on how that signal gets sent to that other cell phone are pretty straightforward. From your cell phone, it's going to go to the tower that uh, your service provider owns. It's then going to go into the landline system, and it's going to come out on the, uh, on the tower of the other service provider if it's not the same service provider. So uh, I'm going to make a call right here from this phone. Now this phone is from Boost Mobile. The phone that I'm dialing on is a Boost Mobile phone. And the phone that I'm dialing to is an AT&T phone. Notice a small delay in that uh, phone call getting here. And the reason for that is that it has to go through a couple of different towers and a couple of different networks before it ends up on this AT&T phone. So I'm going to hit the send key. And you'll notice that this phone is now ringing. I'm Ben from the Cell Phone Broker. That's how cell phones work. Thanks for watching.